That should be a bullet. 15 inches deep. There you go. There's your wow. reward. It's a great find. It is a beautiful day out here, y'all. And I'm doing some detecting. Got the new Axiom pulse machine here. And I just got a pretty good signal. It is down about, I'd say, 10 to 12 inches deep. And check that out. I just found me a button. And that is in amazing shape, too. General Service Eagle button. Wow. Man. That is awesome. Well, let's keep going. See if we can find some more. Well, y'all, just got another good signal down here with the Axiom. And check it out. I see it in the dirt clump. Yep, it's screaming. It's either a button or a button back. Let's hope it's complete. Oh, there it went. Yeah, just the back of a button, but hey, that's still a good find. Somebody missed that. Oh, we're in a hot spot. Got to be some more complete ones out here, too. All right, so we got a deep signal right here. Dug out a ton of rocks. Okay, so we the found bullet, a bullet at the end is 15 inches to the tip. 15 inches deep. There's the bullet right there. Yep, there it is. You can see it. You can see it. And I could not find it with my pen. Wow, that is crazy. 15 inches. Unbelievable. We've dug this far. And there it is. There it is. First time it's seen light in 160 years. Yep. There you go. There's your reward. It's a great find. We'll definitely take it. Let's recheck the hole. There could be more. <laughs> we got to split it like five ways now. <laughs> Just popped out. And it's another bullet. Been fired. That was down there about a, over a foot for yeah, sure. Yeah, that was these 12 inches easily. So I just got a good signal down here at the Axiom. Showing up loud and clear. It was down about seven or eight inches. And there it is. That is a Sharps carbine bullet. Looks like it's been dropped. That's a great find. Wow, what a good start to the day. There's gonna be many more too. All right, y'all, so I just managed to get a really good signal right here. I don't know if you can hear it. Low high signal. And it's right in the bottom of the hole. Right there, you see it? There it is. Nice fired three ring mini ball. It was down about eight inches, so pretty shallow, not really deep, but hey, gave a really good signal on the detector here. It's just down maybe two or three inches deep. I found another bullet. This is a 69 caliber. You can tell by the size there, that's a huge one. You wouldn't want to get hit with that. Wow. I'll take it. It's definitely a good signal. Yeah, let's see if the pinpointer can find it. Turn it on. Beeping right there. It's got to be a bullet. Look how deep we are. We're like a foot deep. Maybe deeper than a foot. Let's see. Shovel blade's about 11 inches. So, yeah, we're down about 13 inches deep. Let's see if we can get this out. We're going to dig around it here. All right. All right, you see it? I see it right there. Look at that. That's a bullet, y'all. Let's see how deep this is. <laughs> Pinpointer's eight. So we're down about eight, nine, ten, at least a foot deep. And look at that. 69 caliber bullet. That is beautiful. Been fired. I'm in a little hot spot right here, a little pocket. That is crazy.
Low high signal. It should be a bullet. Loud and clear. Probably about 10 inches deep. Let's dig it. So down in the bottom of the hole, about eight inches deep, I got another one. Hey, it looks to be drop. Big 69 caliber mini ball. So here we go. We got a good bit of stuff. Let's take a better look at the Axiom real quick. It's all cleaned up. I wiped the dirt off the coil. That's the mono. I had the double D on there to start, but I changed it to this one. It does pretty good. Now, one thing to note is the double D coil will let you use iron check so you can tell the difference between nails and something good, but on the mono coils you can't, so. Pretty nice looking machine right there, y'all. Look at that, carbon fiber shaft. If you're interested, I have a few available, so just click the link in the description below and you can get you a new one. Good for relic hunting, gold prospecting, anywhere with bad dirt or just very, very deep targets. I'll make some more videos later on, more in depth of the sounds and how it works. But hey, that's a nice machine and we had a good test. I did really well. Look at those finds. Civil War bullets, beautiful eagle button right there. Let's pick it up. Man, that's nice. Got some other Civil War bullets right here. These are big 69 calibers. You wouldn't want to get hit by that. It's always fun to find them. You can never get tired of them. Got a nice Sharps carbine bullet. Bunch of little tiny pieces of lead. Look at these like 25 caliber or 32 caliber bullets. They were deep too, about 10 inches. Got some button backs. And these things blow your ears out on the Axiom. You can find them a good eight inches deep loud and clear so overall it was a real great hunt y'all i even got some smaller bullets right here 22 caliber so this machine is very sensitive on the gold that's what it's made for i got some exciting news if you haven't heard already the nugget noggin live event is this may 6th down in rock hill south carolina this is going to be a silver treasure hunt so if you love finding silver coins, and if you want to win some awesome prizes, I have thousands of silver coins I'm going to be burying in the ground and over 100 quality prizes for y'all to win so far. Many of those prizes are going to be metal detectors. I have pinpointers, gold coins, cameras, custom-made knives, silver bars, and so much more. It's going to be epic, y'all. Click the link in the video description below. Get signed up today. It's May 6th in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and tickets are selling fast. And guess what, y'all? There is more. If you're not into finding silver, and if you'd rather have a natural metal detecting hunt on thousands of acres of land, well, guess what? I'm going to be hosting one of them too. So I got a location, a couple thousand acres, a lot of good potential there. There's a chance to find relics, coins. There were some old house sites, Native American history, and colonials. So if y'all are interested, if I can get 50 people interested in a natural detecting hunt, then I'll have it. Possibly late February early March. So comment the word relic below. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new one.